Hello everyone, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Brian, and I am the newest member of the High Stakes team. Now I'd like to commence this video with a request for those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions. If our guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, we kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering our presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore our Patreon support tier or check out our various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. San Diego Padres vs Texas Rangers My team pick is Texas Rangers to win and here is why. When diving into the last seven starts for both of these pitchers, there has been a gap between their effectiveness. Dylan Cease is 2-3 with a 5.03 era and a 1.25 whip in 39.1 innings, while Nathan Eovaldi is 3-1 with a 3.89 era and a 1.11 whip in 37.0 innings. All in all, go with the Texas Rangers to pick up a win in this game. The ability for these offenses to not getting into double plays, there is a significant difference here. San Diego has hit 79 total double plays while Texas has only hit 55 total double plays. My total pick is over 7.5 runs. And here is why. During June, these two starting pitchers were struggling a bit on the bump as Dylan Cease was 2-2 with a 4.94 era and a .248 opposing batting average in 27.1 innings 5 starts, while Nathan Eovaldi made 5 starts and was 2-1 with a 4.40 era and a 1.12 whip in 28.2 innings of work. Both bullpens have struggled to keep the baseball in the park as each team is tied with the Los Angeles Dodgers for 11th place with 35 total home runs given up. These lineups have also shown the ability to dominate offensively as the Padres are averaging 6.17 runs per game while the Rangers are scoring 4.17 runs per game. Philadelphia Phillies vs Chicago Cubs. My team pick is Philadelphia and here is why. On paper, the 5-5 record in the past 10 head-to-head -head encounters between these two teams reveals a tight rivalry, but in their past five meetings, the Phillies have gone 5-0, outscoring Chicago by a score of 3-0, double one. On the mound, we see two inexperienced starters going head-to-head, -head, and with the Cubs' recent struggles in Philadelphia's impressive, double 2 one 5 record away from home, this should be another big win for the NL East leading Phillies. My total pick is under nine runs, and here is why. While neither starter in this one has extensive experience on the mound, when these two teams meet, it's often the pitching that leads the way, with the under sitting at 7-3 in their past 10 head-to-head -head meetings, with their past six meetings in Chicago averaging just under six runs per game. For the Phillies, the under is 6-4 in their past 10 overall games, with the team allowing just four runs in their last three-game road trip, and for the Cubs, the under is 5-4-1 in their past 10, with the team managing just 32 runs over that time. Detroit Tigers vs Minnesota Twins, my team pick is Detroit Tigers minus 1.5 runs and here is why. With the day off, I think this could be a good chance for the Tigers to steal a win over the Twins. Tariq Skubal has been great on the mound with a 1.96 era against the division. He also holds a 1.48 era when playing at night. Minnesota is hitting just point, double two six against the division so they will most certainly struggle in this matchup. The Tigers ability to win with Skubal on the mound has been most impressive. The team is 9-3 when he has started this season. My total pick is under 8.5 runs and here is why. The Tigers and the Twins will each be starting capable pitchers in Tuesday's game. Simeon Woods Richardson has been great this year with an era of 2.52 against the American League Central Division. Tarek Skubal also gets the start for Detroit and he has an era of 1.96 against divisional foes. The offense has faltered at times for these two teams too. San Francisco Giants v Atlanta Braves, my team pick is Atlanta Braves minus 1.5 runs, and here is why. The Atlanta Braves have been struggling as of late from the plate and are down to a mediocre 14th in the majors with a .709 team ops, while averaging 4.32 runs per game. The lineup has been less aggressive than most on the bases as they are tied with the New York Yankees for 27th with just 37 stolen bases while being caught 11 times. Designated hitter Marcelo Zuna has been one of the best hitters in baseball as he has a .951 ops with 21 homers, 67 RBIs, and 48 runs scored. It is difficult to know what to expect out of Hayden Birdsong, making his second career start in the majors, and with the MLB debut, excitement out of the way. Ronaldo Lopez has been one of the best pitchers in baseball, as in his last seven starts, he is 4-1 with a 2.08 era 
and a 1.13 whip in 39.0 innings of work. These bullpens throughout the year as well have been on two completely different levels as the Braves are third in baseball with a 3.10 reliever era, while the Giants are down at 24th in the bigs with a 4.47 bullpen era. My total pick is, over 8.5 runs, Ronaldo Lopez has been pitching at a decent level when diving into his baseball savant page as he is in the 31st percentile in hard hit percentage, 32nd percentile in barrel percentage, 39th percentile in average exit velocity and 43rd percentile in walk percentage. Lopez also has four different pitches fastball, slider, curveball, changeup and his best pitch has been his slider as hitters have a .156 batting average and .2, double zero slugging percentage off of it. He faced the Giants once last season out of the bullpen as a member of the Chicago White Sox and did not factor into the decision as he threw 0.1 shutout innings and allowed one walk and had one strikeout. During June, these teams have been scoring a good amount of runs as San Francisco scored 4.85 runs in their 27 games while Atlanta averaged 4.04 runs during their 27 games in the calendar month. Leading off innings can tell us how significant an offense can be and apply pressure as the Giants are 5th in MLB with a .762 team ops leading off an inning while the Braves are 12th in the sport with a .706 team ops to begin an inning. Cincinnati Reds vs New York Yankees, my team pick is Yankees run line minus 1.5 runs and here is why. Like the Reds, the Yankees were on the road in their last series splitting four games with the Toronto Blue Jays, where in the two wins they totaled 24 runs, while in the two losses only totaled five runs. However, unlike the Reds, they won the series finale beating the Jays 8-1, where Aaron Judge went yard and had two RBI, and DJ LeMahieu and Trent Grisham also had two RBI. On the season, New York ranks second in the majors in runs scored and fifth in team era. Judge.31631 HR82 RBI leads baseball in HR and RBI, ranks tied for second in batting average, and has two HR and seven RBI over the last five games. Juan Soto.30320 HR61 RBI has two HR and five RBI over the last five games. Slugger Giancarlo Stanton.24618 HR45 RBI is out for this game on the 10 day aisle with a hamstring injury. On the season, the Yankees 2414 at home. Both teams are under 0.5, double zero in their last 10 games, and while the Yankees still have the most wins in the NL, the Reds are under 0.5, double zero for the season and well out of the playoff race. New York has one of the most potent lineups in baseball, and they will score a lot of runs for the second straight game facing Ashcroft, who gave up six runs in his last start, and has an era north of 5.00. Gill was a Cy Young frontrunner before his last two starts where he was lit up for 12 runs in only five and two-thirds innings. He will bounce back and pitch well in this game facing a Cincy team that has been shut out in two of their last three games. The Yankees will take this game and also win by at least two runs, so take the run line to get better odds.